What's up guys, this is the Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So, to kind of run off of my last time, we basically did some more fighting against the Indians in the Indian subcontinent. And I've got my army in Moscow is underway and is in the process of... Ooh, or is it? I don't know, two units of guard heavy horse artillery, which looks like they might be coming from... Kiev. Hmm. So I'll move them here. Yeah, so I'll recruit in Kiev, join the unit together, ship them across to here. Because I'm shipping them to here is not going to be any faster either. Where is it? If we ship it from Crimea to Lat Latakia, hmm. and have them run down the metal road all the way down to Basra and ship them down to um, Kolachi. Or do I ship them all the way down to Trincomasli? I think that's what I do. That would be fascinating. Traits gained. Peter Lacey. Subterfuge. Oh, that's uh, my general. Cool. Right, let's hit end turn. Oh, get my missionaries in position. Well, then that's going up to join the army in up to Finland. Yeah, and I'm not expanding into India as fast as I would like, but I think that's pretty much just because the AI generates as many. Well, not the AI. The AI doesn't generate. I think I'm pretty sure it still just regularly produces stuff, but it's producing armies at a massively faster rate. So if I could take Ceylon and then take. Uh, Oh, what's the Bangalore away from the British that will give me a, period, a, a, sp a spot on the east coast I can start pumping troops out to fight the Indians and force them to start fighting on multiple fronts then my army then my um, presence in Ceylon I can recruit stacks whose sole job is to capture a city and sit in it so un unless the opportunity exp unless the opportunity presents itself um, they're not going to be focused around actually um, tearing through the city at high speed. Their job will be to, to sit in a city, draw all their stacks towards it. Oh, moly, moly, moly. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky stacks. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the Good, this army in this region has just finished wars. So you need to hammer it down here to get to this crossing point. This army, I'm probably going to want to mortars and mortars and mortars. Ooh. I'm probably going to want to recruit another army in Baghdad as well. So let's get that on the go. Well, actually, I could start by capturing... Like, send an army down to just capture... Like, Karnataka. Just sit there, capture it. Just move in, first turn, get in the port, run up, capture it. And then just sit there. So that could be what I start doing from Baghdad to help draw pressure away from the front. In which case, I require... Two of that. Two mortars still. One, you want mortars for inside. I want you to have hand mortars because they're brilliant. And then... Get some line. But I want to get a bit some more exotic melee troops, which I can't get anywhere except Moscow. Semyonovsky foot guards, for example. Russian Tsar guards. Semenovsky foot guards. Blah, whatever that says. See, there's loads of cool units here I've not taken advantage of because it's just. It just makes so much more sense to build near the front where I can. Like all my frontier towns are going to look. All my frontier army is going to start looking very similar. Iron Masters works. 
trading port there. That's being done. So send them to chase after that stack. It should be a quick auto. Yeah, auto that. They move there because I can anticipate they're going to try get to the road and run to Afghanistan. I suspect. Now you go up there, take the bridge and hold it. Tech advance. Cool. Do I want to go straight on steam engine? No. Oh yeah, it's two away from quickline. Perfect. Um, I think I'd rather have light infantry doctrine, I think, rather than steam engines just yet. Well, plus 20% wealth is pretty big. Yeah, I think I might do that actually. From boosting uh, textile. Textile enables building of steam power cloth mill. Yeah, I'll do steam engine. Build it for the long haul. The long haul. Good, so my army's there. You join there. You run down to Crimea. Let's take my militia out to there. So upgrade you, because I can see you need money. Investment. Let's see where does anywhere have non metal roads? Well, I can't afford them now anyway. Right. You are gonna head to Cairo. Cairo is not converting. I think in these territories I might just have to start. Well, I can't. Hmm. Radio. Okay, I think. Uh. Let's trade. You, yeah, yes. I'll do that. <laughs> so fine, we'll trade only if you pay me 400 and... Oh. I'll trade with you, but only if you give me... Ooh, I don't like that. Where are you going, Britain? Where are you going to dump that stack of troops, eh? Hmm. Not ideal. But yeah, I'm just keep pouring money into your national economy as Russia, because eventually your tax just become your tax income just gets so high that you know, oh no, we're blockaded. Doesn't matter, don't care. My internal market's now sufficiently large that I just don't care. Oh good, the Swedes are camping instead. Or oh, get within range. Oh. oh, this could go wrong because I've not got as much troop, much infantry as I'd need. But I'm going to need to blow a breach in my own walls rapidly. This could go really, really wrong, guys, because I've not got. I've got way too much artillery, not enough infantry. Well, I've got. En oh, I've got an, an amount. I don't know if I've got enough. That's the problem. But this would be. Radimir Dobchev with 2,881 men versus Fyodor Suresh with, call that 3,800, call that 11,000 just to balance it out. So what, 14,000? 3,000 ish versus 14,000? Four. Trouble out, well actually, I say that, I'm imagining all this attacking at once because that's not how the AI does sieges, so yeah, might be right. that large attack start but when the reinforcements come in it's the field so they'll come in and come in could just be a bit of a slottle but you don't have a battle that's 3,000 versus 14,000 and it go quickly yeah I need to blow a hole in my walls quickly I saw it not long ago but I've already forgotten but as far as I remember They've primarily got um, 
uh, mortars. So let's do you. So these, these guys will not be firing at the wall. They will be firing blast and canister shot to here. These guys will be firing at the wall. And then my mortars are probably going to deploy... One's going to deploy there to fire right down the mouth of that breach. Well, you can't fire. One's going to fire, sit here, and just fire at will. General's cavalry's a bit useless for now. Unless I play a heavy micro game outside and see if I can try and snipe their mortars. Okay, now infantry time. Let's put unit grenadiers up there. I need to li really, really put a limit on how much I man the troop, man the walls. Right, put a block of militia there to defend the artillery, block of militia there to defend the artillery. And I got left with these troops. Plus my Cossacks. Well yeah, I'm going to have to do some micro then, with my cavalry. Put them there. That could be quite devastating. No, I need to have them somewhere I can actually aim them. Like that. No, that's not ideal either. I'll put them like that. So they will fire as soon as they reach into this gap. Because down inside the actual town itself, I do need... Like fire by rank muskets. And they also need muskets in buildings. I'll put a grenade unit around here. Here. Can I engage your artillery with my powers? I can! Don't know how much good they're going to do, but I need to try. Head off of that wall. No, pikes, get away from the pikes. See, look, why are they just. It's like the game's almost coded to make sure they do it. They just be stupid. Get you out, get you, get you. Position up. You limber up.
I'm pretty sure the uh, the AI is just super grumpy that I've got core horses outside the walls, so I need to run in. I need to get them inside. Might be a bit close, but soon by now. I'm in a very. F oh, I need to make sure I don't knock out my own. Right. Let's limber you up. Let's limber you up. Swave, what are they doing? Present fire. Right. Can you fire it will off? You don't need to lose, you don't need to waste your ammunition. There we go, come on in. of my own
Hopefully, see, the hope is now before I, whoa, I need to kill as many of them as possible before they get into the buildings. Good. Routed. Halt. I'll put them in there, actually. Be blasting out into the walls and everyone in short range. Plates are routing. Giving the Hindu musketeers the next shot. Building secured. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Because they'll be firing them down from these windows. Oh yeah, so unlimber you actually and get you firing onto them. General has been killed. Advancing the mortars there rather than firing them for some reason, but I'll take it. Okay, got Hindu musketeers and fire at will. Not going to be as effective as massed fire, but I'll have to take it because they'll be they'll be able to fire on them straight away as they run around this gap. These guys will fire down on them, fire up to get into the open. Ah, they're trying to capture the building. Blast them with canister. Hit, hit the Islamic swordsmen with canister instead. Take this building as well. Oh god! Now, now's the now's the time. Another general dead. God alive! Got to get him as they're charging. My guys are wavering, it's understandable. He 
need to get. Oh god! If I I could lose this. If I lose this building, that's okay. One's broken. One is steady. They're wavering. They can't get inside the building fast enough. Another general's dead. No, hold your fire now. Reload. Reload your cannons. Try and increase the elevation on that rearmost set of mortars. They're not landing so close to this. If I lose my hand more company, I will put a militia unit in there instead. I'm going to swords on the back. Oh, he is winning the fight. Hold fire, save your ammunition. Fireball on. And more company have lost it. Hit the armory. Destroy it. Destroy it lest it be used as a post against us. Lower to pieces with 137 Hindu musketeers inside, mostly. Ah, oh, they're routing. Can you just 
We let your fire onto that horse. Let's pull my grenadiers out. Walking the mortars all the way in. Not there. No, no, wait, they're moving. Good. Now they can now they can concentrate fire on the actual gap. There we go. Definitely speed up a little time now. Will it come down to either kills or time? So I just let time speed on. Like, they might not even try attacking me. If that makes sense. They might. Oh, I heard, I heard bells ringing. Cease fire. So. Them falling back. Aha! They're going to try a different route, are they? Seeking to capture the walls, then militia, you have been upgraded to wall defense. Hindu musketeers. It's the last stand of the blunderbuss grenadiers. They never gave up the armory, not while they had an ounce of breath in their body.
in you musketeers, the next one's into the breach. Ooh, that was a lot of... That was a huge amount of bowmen. Holy hell. They just don't have it in them. Okay, Burkina Levy's coming in next. You hold fire so you don't peck at their cavalry from long range. You can see it's not so much of a meat grinder where I take in every single unit and every unit gets it's destroyed. It's Yeah, it's a It's a bit of give and take, you know. They Oh, if I'd quick climb, I'd just go pa all dead. There's a second another unit of dervishes coming in. Fire it well. They're confident, but they're all confident once they've come through the walls. But this is how this is this is one way to win against the Indians, you just they want to send stacks, you create your little... Oh, you create your little corridors of death. Force them to run through it if they want to get in. Tears are back. <laughs> Dervishes. Okay, this infantry unit has expanded all of their ammunition. How are you guys doing? Hold your fire, hold your fire. How about you guys? You guys are still doing okay. Two carcass shops start pecking at their reserves that are that are still off in the distance. Another unit of Hindu musketeers, der dervishes. I'm not sure why these are. Is there something I did? I think I must have accidentally clipped uh, swords. So no, you get back to your guns. What are they doing? Oh, because my horses ran out the gates.
cavalry. This is why we have you now. Not if I can't. All because my stupid horse ran out the uh, door. Man your cannon. Still, it means it's pretty much a whole unit of dervishes destroyed because they they're, they're trying to flee through my own walls. Delicious. Well, then you are going to sit. There now then. There you go. Flee, flee, flee. It's artillery sat all the way back here trying to influence the battle. Guns firing because they've got all the ammunition. Good. Hmm. Just keep firing. And have you run here because I have not captured the gate back yet. And that's where I think you probably might want to go. Good. Another unit of swordsmen, another unit of levy. Let's see how good they are at aiming it. Aiming at elephants. Man. all these over here? These are the fragments. Cavalry, horsemen, some bows, big old block of... Ooh, you're asking for a flaming hot ball of garbage. I want to follow this in. Oh my god! All of them! All of them! Okay, it might not be quick climb, but it's pretty darn good if they're all bunched up. <laughs> You've not got much ammunition left, so soon you're going to be fighting people off the walls with your club, with a club. These musketeers haven't even hit the wall yet. Oh, the 
are just gonna miss getting hit by a, by this batteries by this mortar batteries thing. Oh, another second volley coming in. Oh, 160 out of 96, 17 one shot. Fire at that lever unit now, I suppose. Oh, they're broken, so don't worry about it. Oh, speed up time again, I suppose. But yeah, I didn't... Well, in a way, I suppose I did realise it was going to go this way. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is looking at the time and the fact that it's probably just going to be more of the same and nothing particularly spectacular is going to happen I may cut the part I may cut the recording and then uh, catch up with you guys towards the end because ultimately I don't think they've not got much left to throw in this fight At least not much they want to want to throw into it. Like they've got that unit. This unit's coming up to take part. That Burkina Levy sat there. Maybe these guys back here? Maybe. No. Right, so what I'm gonna do guys, because I'm looking at the length of the part and it's pretty darn long. Um I'm gonna hit the uh stop button and I'll get back to you at the end of the battle. Right, see you in a second guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to quickly bring you back in because they've thrown in the last of all of their infantry in one final attack. After this, there won't be anything except um, their cavalry and artillery back here in one big cluster. This is their last throw of the dice of all of their tactical forces, except this unit of bows that just doesn't want to move. I got these guys at fire well on. I do. If they can get in. There you go. Swarming, swarming, swarming. Some are scaling the walls. They're being met by my militia and a unit of infantry. Oh, they're broken, that's why. Don't worry about them. These guys are actually going to run straight into my ground. Ah, there they are. They have suddenly gone. Wait a minute. My gunner's got one. Gunner's got two. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about trying to maximise the kills there. But look at that. Whoa. <laughs> That's what happens when you bunch guys up in this game. Ah, right here, guys. But yeah, so I'll hop you guys back if anything else like this happens. But I doubt it, they just don't have the resources. Except for one unit, but I'm not going to hop you guys back for one unit. Right here, guys. See you in a sec. Okie dokie guys, here's the end of the battle. The only real thing they managed to accomplish was making a second breach, by which nothing they really did. 
And finally, some of their reinforcement mortars came up and just started to fire as the second shot came in. Those shells could have been devastating to those troops on the walls. But we have won a heroic victory here. Oh, how do I... I can never remember how do I click to... Ah, it's in the next screen. How many... How much the, the howitzers did. I know it's going to be significant, but I'm just curious as to how significant. So look at that. Deployed 15,000 men versus 2,800. They lost 11,000 men. 11,000. So it's a... God. Devastating, but all to the good for the Russian efforts to conquer the region. Trouble is, though, they can just magic that up more again. Oh, look at that. Don't be, don't be, don't be poopy. But this is, this is, this is what you do when you fight India, though. They will have another stack that will appear. A set of stacks. In this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. So what have they got? A trade port. Yeah, Trevor's a fairly sure most of those are knackered, so I feel confident sending them to chase after them. Replenish. So I've lost my Union of Blunderbuss Grenadiers. Now I'm going to replace it with... Nothing, because they don't... Oh, I can't produce... I can't have any more. Right, so I might have to replace Subadar's palace with a military governor's barracks. Or just send these guys in. I think I might do that. This army. You've earned a bit of rest and relaxation. This army under Konstantin Voropayev is taking over the position. Just in case they try it again. New town, Azerbaijan. Uh... Enemy raid, an intersection advance. So I've got some. Yeah, then we're going to abolish slavery. Why not? Well, there's no point me upgrading that port because it doesn't achieve anything. Logging camp, so let's go check my few logging camps I've got. Because precision tools gets me lumber. Everything seems to be okay. Yeah, it's built an engineer school there. Because why not? Then let's... Governor's Palace in Persia, which is being taxed. Good. Blukestan, you're converting. Religious unrest is still bigger than I'd like. Repair the port. Upgrade the weaver's cottage. Repair the rice field. And send you to take on Sayyid Shaheed. Done. Slice and dice. Good. Replenish. Get back to the front. And then let's fix the place of state. Anyway, looking at the timer, that's definitely, definitely, definitely the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, hope to see you in the next part. See you guys.